Hey there guys, um, this is the first part of my bike build challenge. Um, you all saw that absolute piece of crap bike that I bought for uh, 550 renminbi. Well, um, basically the same day I stripped it down, uh, did quite a bit of work. So I'm going to show you part one. This is everything I managed to do in one day, um, just to see what the bike looked like and see the potential. I would like for all of you to see before me this glorious piece of shit which is now mine. I bought it for the grand total of 550 renminbi and this is going to be my project bike. Okay so I'm going to now give this thing a wash. I don't think this bike has had a wash ever in its entire existence and it's a piece of crap nothing on here is serviceable. I'm basically buying a rolling chassis. So this is going to be one hell of a fun project. And this is all part of the Moto Vlogger Challenge. So I have my shit bike. It cost me 550 renminbi, which is uh, this amount of US dollars. Obviously, engine is seized. But hey, maybe I can even get it running. I'll take a proper look later. <laughs> this is turning out to be a lot of fun. These are all the bits I've taken off so far, this pile of junk. The seat was rusted through, so I had to get a new one. I'm, I'm going to uh, factor that into the initial cost. Um, I've stripped off all the indicators and the lights and the nonsense and the funny brackets. Now, the engine is seized, so I'm going to open it up now. I've already loosened the valve cover. I'm going to open this thing up. See if it's if it's cheap enough to fix. I'm going to fix it so that I can drive it home, ride it home, and have a, an extra little 125 motor. If it is too expensive, I'm just going to throw the engine away. So I'm buying a 250 anyway. This is what it's looking like at the moment. Everything's bust on it. Nothing works. Shocks are seized. Engine is seized. Tires are punctured. Uh, yeah, it's a piece of shit. But that's exactly what I was looking for. It's going to be a lot of fun. Of you um, who don't know how to strip an engine, take off the head. I'm going to show you. Remove that valve cover. It's very easy. Three bolts. Then inside, you take out these two bolts. Uh, can't really point them out, can I? But yeah, that one, that one, and then there are three bolts. One, two, three. That I'm going to take off, and then underneath that, there are another two. I'll show you when it's all out. Okay, it's actually very straightforward. That that thing is just screwed. That's all I can say. Anyway. To take the pot off is very easy. Just take out, it's very, very straightforward. You can figure it out by yourself. That's what it looks like. Mm. It's filthy, but that's actually okay. I'm just going to take this bit off here. I mean, that's the valve uh, jobby. Just now I'm going to take off the pot. All right, so this is the status. The conrod is seized, and uh, the pot needs to be replaced, as well as the piston and whatnot. Basically, it's going to cost about 600 bucks uh, to fix, and that is more than I paid for the bike. So I'm not going to bother with this engine. I'm just going to basically strip it out and throw it away. I might uh, play around with it for a bit. Uh, either way, that's that for this engine. I'm going to order a new one and stick it in. So that's the current status of this bike. So this is the tank, and I'm about to try to make it look a bit better. Stripping off the plastics and I noticed that it's uh, got a leak. So we're gonna see what we can do about that. So I don't feel like spending money on buying a new tank. I think that can be welded closed or something. Alright so I've uh, given it a preliminary sandpapering just to get rid of some rusty bits and uh, flat it out a bit. I'm going to be spraying it a little later and uh, this is not probably not going to be the finishing spray but it's uh, it's going to make the bike look a lot better in the meantime I might uh, replace the tank we'll see how well we can fix the leak we have down here in the side because that's definitely not good and there's a lot of rust in the tank so uh, yeah I might just replace it but for now let's see what I can do with this that's a nasty surprise, but there's a cockroach nest inside this uh, air filter. They're all hiding in there. I don't know if you guys can see, it's pretty disgusting. 
if I toss this thing on the road, you'll probably see him. Just wait for this lady to walk past. Me. Yeah. They're all trying to climb back in there. everywhere. It's disgusting. Oh well. Yeah, so much for this air filter, the air cleaner. It's really disgusting. I'm gonna have to go clean it out properly. So we've got uh, contact adhesive, and that's how he's going to fix it with uh, glue. Interesting. I thought he was going to weld it, but I guess not. So it's five minute epoxy? Five minute epoxy, yeah. Show me on the other side. So, if your tank's ever rubbish, Good. Huh? I suppose it can be shaped afterwards as well. It's quite nice. Right, so this is what she's looking like at the moment. Um, I sprayed the tank black. Uh, the motor, of course, is completely buggered. That's going to be replaced with a two, 250. Um, but yeah, let's take a quick look around. Front headlight assembly, it's all going. I'm going to put a circular nice one on there. Uh, I'll replace the front forks because they're seized. I'll replace it with something a bit thicker, I think, and a disc brake because the drum brake's just lame. But, uh, you know, what a difference, eh? What a difference. It's getting there. It's going to be spectacular when I'm done with this thing. It's going to be a hell of a lot of fun.